Kieran, how are you doing, Derek? I'm doing great. Are you doing great? Oh, yeah. Doing fantastic. Definitely glad to hear that. So the new album is Flawed Design. And I understand that it comes after taking the longest break of your career, or at least that's what it said that Mike took the longest break in his career. Which one of you that took the longest break? Both of us, I guess. I mean, yeah, it was about four years, four years between albums, anyway, um, four and a bit. So it was a long break for both of us. Uh, yeah, but we, I mean, we had to, uh, we had, you know, personal, uh, personal things, uh, life and you know uh, personal matters family things we had uh, so we had to take a break but um it was well worth it you know i think uh, the break really helped us out and it sort of re uh, re energized us i guess and uh yeah we got focused on the record and here we are and how long did you spend of that four-year break writing for this new record i mean we started writing when we were actually on the road touring uh you know during the first record so um, but we, you know, we got together, we started to get together, uh, to really work on this record in early 2017. Uh, we started demoing some stuff and, you know, I think we probably demoed about five songs and that was when, um, you know, we decided to decide to, uh, take a break for a bit. So yeah, we got back at it, um, last year and, uh, yeah, and here we are. A lot of people use the term all-star band when they're describing your band. How do you feel about that? Either way, it doesn't really uh, make too big of a difference to me. I mean, we're we're all friends. Um, we've been friends for a long, long time. So, you know, to me, it's just we're just a band. This is our band. Um, but yeah, we. I mean, we've all we've all been in other bands and that kind of thing. So, I, you know, that makes sense and everything. But to us, it's just it's our band. You know, we. We hang out together, we write music together, we play shows together. It's uh, no different than any other band, you know. Had you met the Stain guys from touring with them or sharing mutual friends? Yep, yeah, we toured a lot with uh, Stain back in the day. Um, you know, did quite a few tours uh, with Three Days and Stain. So, yeah, Mike and I knew each other uh, from that, from doing shows together and touring a bit. Uh, but we had never, obviously, we'd never worked together on music until... Uh, until I left three days and uh, we got together just to see what would happen. And uh, yeah, it turned out well. So we, uh, we kept at it. And do you see this as a full-time band? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, minus the, the break, you know, the unexpected sort of break that we had. Um, yeah. It's a full-time band for us. Absolutely. It's a full-time, full-time gig. <laughs> so does that mean that you already have a third album in sight? Oh yeah. Yeah. We're definitely going to keep, putting out records and keep playing shows as, you know, as long as people want to hear, hear us play and uh, see us live, we're going to, we're not going to stop doing it. Got it. So talking about this album, do you have a favorite song on there? Yeah, uh, it's, well, it's pretty tough to pick a favorite. Just it, 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 This record's really, really personal to me. And I, I really do um, connect with all of these songs more so than um, lots of other you know, that I've done in the past. So, I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite. Um, there's a few that stand out to me and, and one song that stands out and, you know, it's a song that I, um, you know, just, I mean, I, yeah, like I guess I guess it stands out to me as ghost and that's, uh, yeah, that's one I'm excited for people to hear. Um, yeah, it's different. That, that song we actually, uh, co-wrote with Dustin from Starset as well as, uh, Keith Wallet from Breaking Benjamin. So, Turned out very cool. I'm stoked for that song. And do you think we might ever see a tour from you where you not only play songs from San Antonio, but you also play Three Days songs live? I mean, we've we've done that in the past when we when we first started uh, touring back in 2015. We incorporated a few uh, a few of my older songs. You know, I Hate Everything About You and um, Animal I've Become. Uh, we did those in the past as well as actually we we did. Uh, we did for you by staying as well, but that was, yeah, that was a few years ago. And, and this time around, we're, I mean, we're going to be touring a lot in 2020. So, um, yeah, I'm sure we're going to incorporate, uh, again, some older songs into the set for sure. Um, probably this time around, just, you know, probably one and maybe two at most, but, uh, yeah, I mean, those songs are a big part of my life. Um, you know, it's nice to, nice to play them here and there for sure. And what is life like for you outside of music? And I ask that because some artists, their whole life is touring 200 days a year. And they say, the second that I'm not doing that, 
I'm with my family and life is quiet. And then other people say, well, I have a charity and I, I also do graphic design. Which one are you closer to? No, I mean, I'm, I'm closer to, uh, to the family life. My, uh, my son was born two years ago. Um, and so I mean, he just, he just turned two and, uh, anytime that I'm not on the road or I'm not focused on music, I'm just, you know, at home taking it easy with my wife, Jamie and my, uh, my boy. So, yeah, I mean, it, you know, as things pick up, it, that time you spend at home gets sort of few and far between for longer periods. So it's nice to, to spend the time that you're not working, uh, definitely spend with family. And is a lot of that time spent watching football or anything really mundane that people wouldn't really expect? <laughs> well, I mean, hockey for sure. And, and, uh, I mean, I'm a big baseball guy and a big hockey guy. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I mean, my wife's not too keen on that, but Hey, um, you know, I was born and raised in Canada, so it's hard not to, uh, to get excited over the hockey season when it starts, but we watch a lot of movies and a lot of animated movies, lots of Disney and then, yeah, quite a bit of sports. <laughs> have you ever sung the national anthem at a hockey event? You know what? Not at a hockey game. I, I have. Uh, I did sing the national anthem at a, a Patriots Jets game um, a few years ago. That was amazing. That was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I also sang the national anthem at a NASCAR race in uh, Phoenix. So, um, done it a couple times, but never at a hockey game. I think uh, we, we are actually talking about hopefully maybe doing something like that this year if uh if we can got it <laughs> that's definitely got to be a surreal thing are you singing both the canadian national anthem and the american when you do those well when i did the when i sang them in the past it was just the american uh national anthem but at a at a hockey game yeah it's usually usually both it just depends on where the team is from you know uh my chance is that if i were to do it it would be somewhere here in canada i'm guessing that who knows really but yeah, I probably sing them both. I, I know them both pretty well. I know I've lived in both countries for long, long periods of time. <laughs> I know them pretty well. Uh, absolutely. And you call Nashville home these days? No, no. I'm actually, uh, I was in Minneapolis for quite a few years. That's where my wife is from. Um, and my son was born in Minneapolis. But I'm, I'm actually back home uh, in Canada now, outside of uh, Toronto, a couple hours east of Toronto. So back home. I have been all over the place, so, you know. Uh, for a while, but uh, we're we're back home now, and you know, raising my son here is uh, is uh, I think the best best idea. So yeah, we're back home. And speaking of your son, uh, my closing question: Any last words for the kids? Oh, the kids! <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I guess the first thing is that I, I would just the uh, the support that I've had over the last few years has been overwhelming you know it, there it's been four years between records and none of the none of the fans or friends that that you know have supported me all the way through uh, disappeared or anything like that people are really excited about uh this next stage and so i you know a big uh thank you and shout out for that that's really amazing